showing the fault in the ho-hem gimbal. Pan left, no problem. Pan right, nothing happens. Really press. Get to go right and there's a click. Left, right, nothing. Press in, click, and it goes. I hope you can see this. The pan fault was if you push the button to the right, it didn't pan. However, if you remove the button and then move the little uh, doodah in the middle, it will pan quite nicely. Also, looking at the white ring around the central button doodah, it's not central. Oh, I'm assuming that is what the button is catching on causing it to malfunction in that it won't pan smoothly to the right. Further investigation to follow. Right, undoing the three tiny grub screws, one, two and the third over there, you can separate the gimbal head from the body. Removing the label trim shows two more tiny grub screws. Remove those two and remove the label off the base and there's two more tiny grub screws then carefully prise let's zoom out you can prise the body apart seeing the ginormous lithium ion battery main circuit board and uh, the circuit board there is the offending one that is not central which was preventing the joystick from uh, moving to the left and the right. So that is the next uh, option is to try and re-centralise that. Right now the joystick operation is you have to pull this out that is the, is, is the little doodah that can operate left and right up down. Now this, that is just the switch plastic for that, don't worry about that for now. When this is in place it's located by three screws. One, one under those wires there, whoops, and one and one, two and the third one is there. Now those little things you can see moving there are the the buttons there. And the slide switch there operates that tiny slide switch there. But difficult to see because the, the operating plastic has now fell out. Anyway, location wise, one, two and the third. What we need to do is there's a little bit of play allowed. We need to increase that amount of play by elongating the hole. When my fingernail is there, that will allow us then to relocate such that that is then in the centre, which was preventing the uh, pan right operation. So once we've re-centralised that, all should be well. Just thought of something. I actually started to unpeel the rubber handle, thinking there'd be a couple of fixing screws under here. There isn't. It just relies on these uh, snap catch types to uh, hold it together. So having undone those two screws at the front, I've been taking the escutcheon trim off. It's then. Uh, prize it apart, you know, the whole thing just comes apart then. Right, I've just reassembled the head and uh, before I put it all back together I disconnected the battery. Uh, I've had to recharge or change the battery in the camera that's recording this actually. While we're on batteries, this is an 18650 uh, readily available lithium ion cells uh, it's just a pair of, uh, each cell is uh, 2 ampere hour, 3.7 volts, and there's two obviously wired in parallel in the pack. So if the battery pack ever dies, uh, all you need to do is buy two 18650 uh, batteries off uh, eBay or uh, Amazon, or some place, whatever your battery supplier is. So uh, I'll connect the battery in a moment and then we'll see how we go. Right, I don't know if you can see on this, but on this is the uh, the push button for the pan and tilt control. Uh, I've actually chamfered the edges slightly uh, with a very fine file. 
that's so that when you operate it on the gimbal unit uh, it tends to go smoothly when it reaches the uh, the plastic ring of the uh, control. Right, having re-centralised the circuit board that the joystick mounts on this operates quite nicely now if you move it to the left pans, move it to the right, it pans so I'll now refit the operating button with the, the chamfered edges and the chamfers are on the left and the right and put this on go now if I move the button to the right it pans beautifully move it to the left it pans beautifully and in fact if you just move it very slightly you can get a very slow pan so the pan speed is proportional to the amount that you move it so that works quite nicely now so very, very happy hope this has been useful